The day of surgery, I shaved, and then I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shave until I'm clear. So I don't think a lot of people expected me to be back, but uh, you know, my mindset was I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to work, and that's what you know, coach talks about every time coming in. Uh, and just attacking that day, and that's what I tried to do every day at rehab. I kind of turned it into a competition just to kind of like see, you know, all right, like people say, all right, well, he's not going to be back for, you know, eight, nine months, and then I'm like, all right, well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> It was kind of kind of funny to see one if I could even grow a good beard, but it kind of just showed you how how long and the process had been. A little like Tony Frank right now, huh? <laughs> You're always looking for small little things for guys to hold on to and you know have a competition with, and because that's that's what they do. They're competitors, and you know if it's the diligence to grow a beard for five months straight, and uh, because that's your reminder of what you're trying to accomplish every day. You know, those are the little goals that you give a player uh, day in and day out so they can always keep you know, the eye on the prize. <laughs> When I, you know, kind of figured it out that, you know, it was for sure torn, uh, you know, I cried just because I knew, no, not because of the pain, just because I knew what it's like to, to have to work and get back and that process and how frustrating it can be. Um, but, you know, as I talked with Tony and, you know, some of the other trainers, I kind of came to realize, you know, at this time, like, I think it'll go a lot faster because I understand what, you know, what the process is like, you know, where I can push it and what to expect, you know, and, uh, you know, they kind of helped me get my mind right for that. One point of an athletic trainer's life is you're, you're really taking student athletes from, you know, the lowest point in their, in their uh, athletic career in terms of being, you know, not themselves and trying to rebuild that whole process back up to feeling as normal as they did before they got hurt. It's really monotonous. It's the same thing over and over and over. I think I was six days a week, two to three hours. You know, my goal was to be back for the first game, um, and that's that's kind of what I stuck with. And like every day when I came in, that was that was my goal because I felt like, you know what, like these guys were, you know, were counting on me, and I'm not going to be in a position where I can't play. Uh, I felt like I. I was letting everybody down uh, in a way, and Co Coach Bobo reassured me that I wasn't, and you know that it was just kind of an unlucky thing. But uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of that's that was kind of why I was what I was working for. You got to keep it fresh. Uh, I mean, there are only so many exercises you're going to do throughout the day and, and day in and day out, and so you got to kind of give some variation daily, uh, daily to the exercises, and a part of that is making them kind of competitions. There are some things where, uh, you know, there, that Tony's either adding resistance or, you know, like talking trash to see if he can get me to jump that much farther or do that much more weight. Uh, so it does get a little competitive. <laughs> you got that, right? <laughs> where you at, Buffalo? When I was cleared to do my drops, throwing, all that stuff, I knew I had to get my, my work in on my own. Uh, and so that's what I would do, staying after, uh, and just doing drops and throwing to guys who wanted to stay or getting a manager to catch, whatever it was, because I knew I needed to, I needed to get my own reps. Um, because if I wouldn't have done that, I, I think I would, wouldn't be to where I am right now. And now, Colin Hill, who has battled through two ACL tears, the same knee. First action since 2016. It really kind of hit me when Tony came up and kind of dapped me up and just was like, proud of you, like, let's go. Like, and I honestly, I had to fight back tears uh, just because, you know, he was a huge part of this process with me. And seeing him put that helmet on, you know, I got some butterflies, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I was happy for him because he earned it. He put in that effort, he wanted to hit this goal and he accomplished it. Definitely couldn't have done it without Tony. Tony uh, really took me in uh, and pushed me. He is passionate about football, he is passionate about his teammates, he's passionate about being successful. And it's credit to all him. I mean, I'm just kinda, I'm just there to guide, to guide him, but it's his effort. And so, you know, all the credit goes to Colin because you know, if, it, if he doesn't have half the effort that he put in every day, we're probably not sitting at this place right now. 
I definitely took pride in the rehab part because, um, like I said, I felt like I owed it to everybody. It was awesome to finally step out there. I mean, it had been two years since I played in a real game and going through two ACLs. Uh, it, it was an amazing feeling.